So I've heard lots of other channels say something and it makes total sense when they get a graded reveal or they get their graded cards back and they're about to do a blind reveal that they're nervous and I'm nervous, but it's, you know, it's probably more like excitement because um, a lot of those channels who say that, it's like not cards that they sent away to just resell or flip or it, it's cards for their collection, cards that they cherish. And there's an excitement and a little nervousness and anticipation too because a lot of times we've been waiting on these, especially if it's PSA, we've been waiting on the return for so long and you're kind of excited, nervous, whatever word you want to use, anxious, you know, you figure about half the cards are going to be about what we figured, about a quarter of the cards are going to be a little disappointing and a quarter of the cards are going to be like, oh my gosh, that's amazing, I'm so excited. So, but regardless, for a lot of these, the grade, I mean, yeah, the grade's important, but it's just neat to have them graded. So even if the grade misses what you were hoping, it's just, it's an exciting time to get um, cards back. And... do these blind reveals because I don't send away a lot of stuff to get graded. So blind reveals are coming to kind of one of the least common things on my channel. Like in the last year, year and a half, what have I had? Like three PSA returns come back. So it's, uh, this wouldn't be one of my videos if there weren't things getting knocked all over the place, right? So now that we got that out of the way. And for me, having them protected in PSA holders keeps these darn things completely safe because you've seen how clumsy I am. So this is kind of cool. This is a huge PSA return box. Um, so I think this ended up being 66 cards. Like I said, you know, I haven't looked at the email, none of those things. Um, and I will be ecstatic if most of these got graded. Hopefully all of them. Hopefully there weren't any duds or min size or, you know, all the issues that there could be. So, um, it's going to be a long video because, you know, I'll try to, I want to do it in order. Well, I don't have to do it in order of what's on my sheet. I mean, I'll find them on my sheet, but I'll try to not do so much hunting and pecking of, um, you know, trying to find, okay, what card's next, what card's next, and, ah, oh, crud, there is that, you know, famous envelope of, there is a card inside, bummer, bummer, so something didn't grade, is this the backs, these are the backs, okay, um, these are all, um, 1956 through 93, so, damn, that's pretty cool looking, <laughs> the whole run of slabs of PSA. All right, so that's a front, and these should all be backs. Okay, so what was I saying? I totally forgot, but anyways, it's just the excitement comes from, you know, like I said, these are all cards that, you know, these, these cards aren't going anywhere, and uh, it's just, uh, like I said in the last video, some of these are like... <laughs> common common so i just was curious to see here here's the one i was talking about 79 gary templeton it's uh well you can't see it because it's in a huge massive stack now but there's cards in here too that i have never gotten graded before cards that you know all of us have a bunch of if we collected in the 80s mostly um there's the tower of psa like uh, Bonds rookies. I don't think once I sent a 
87 tops. One of my, I think the first grading I ever sent away was like an 04. I sent two cards away to Beckett for some free thing with their magazine. And one of them was an 87 tops. I think it was an 87. It was either 87 tops, Bonds, or uh, Maguire. So a lot of these cards I have never, um, never graded before, even though I have, man, there's a lot of cards in there. Holy cow. That's, um, that's surprising. That is very, huh. See, this is where some of the nervousness comes in of, because it's like out of these, there's nothing high end, nothing like a high end vintage that you think would be something trimmed or, I mean, a lot of these I got fresh out of packs, man. Oh, that is a bummer. There are a lot of cards in here that didn't grade. Last time, what did I have on my last reveal? Like five or six of them that didn't grade? I really was not anticipating maybe more than like one. Oh, man, one of them's a... Nah. And these were like, these were pack pulled, these Jeters. All right. <laughs> Let's run through the bad news first. Okay, I got my... Well, I'll, I'll mark the actuals on my list here later. But so, um, so this is the one of the upper deck Jeters. Um, it didn't grade. Altered. This um, <laughs> that was a uh, a pack pull, altered. Darn. Okay, so I submitted two 93 Upper Deck Jeters. Um, one, I guessed, would be an eight, one, a seven and a half altered. This Nolan Ryan was a pack pull. Um, wow. So 80 tops, Ryan, I was guessing a seven and a half. It is altered. No, it's not. So... Um, <laughs> 71 is for my, oh man, two of them for my 71 set came back. Min size. Min size. Seaver and a common, Greg Garrett. Bummer. And my Griffey rookie. Min size. This was a pack pull also, I know that. So that was pulled from a pack myself. That was, that was. So altered, altered, and min size. And I, I don't think I've ever gotten a, uh, a Griffey rookie graded ever. And I sent in, uh, well, I sent in two Griffies. Okay, well, um, I already have a really nice 80 Ryan in a nine already graded. So, you know, that's... Um, one of these that I sent away, I sent two of these in this order, uh, 93 Upper Deck Cheater. So one of them got graded, okay. So if things are gonna get re rejected, these are not the worst things. <laughs> I was just surprised at first to see so many in there. Um, and then, you know, I have, I have a whole case of 89 Donruss left. So um, eventually I'll get another nice, Beautiful, nice Griffey. This was this was my nicest um, eighty nine Griffey um, that I found, and it stinks that it's got a min size. Um, I already have a Seaver graded for my set. Luckily, I think it's like a six. So this was just another one that I sent in because it was so nice, as you could see. I'm like, well, hey, if I get another six, I you know, I mean, maybe I'd sell one, but um, and then a common that got a min size. So, you know what, overall, there's bigger cards in here. So, um, I'm actually okay with the ones that got rejected. That's, I mean, pretty much every PSA order, you, um, you know stuff's gonna get kicked back. So, um, again, sorry for my voice, I was sick for a while. All right, well, we'll just start with my, uh, um, here, we'll split this tower in half so you guys can 
see what's happening here. All right, now the exciting part. That's the bad news out of the way. That was super exciting. Um, 83 tops, Ryan. I had a high guess on it. I guessed a nine. Ooh, okay. Wow. And like I said in my last video, I have four cards in here that I either have a guess or a hope of a 10. If I get one 10 out of this order, I'll be very ecstatic. So this, this was a pack pull myself and uh, a nine. I mean, this is not like, it's probably not even a three figure card, but still it's an iconic Ryan card. And I have a bunch of these and I went through and I picked out my best one and uh, this may, I think this, I think I got this out of a vending box. So one of my vending boxes, but just, sorry if I spend too much time on some of these cards, but um, I'm very happy with that. So um, guess of a nine, I hit it dead on. Here's one of the ones I guessed a 10. This is one of my favorite all time cards. Very first traded set I ever bought was 84, I still have that complete, but um, this one, I don't know where I got somewhere. 84 tops traded Pete Rose, just, I had a straight guess of a 10. So you could see it just gorgeous on back, come on. Nine, okay, but that's still a cool grade for this. Look at that, Pete Rose in an Expos uniform. So I missed on this a little bit, but still, I mean, like a lot of people say, you put a nine and a 10 next to each other, you can't tell. If anything, it's centered a little high. You can see the bottom border just a hair. I'm gonna say that's gotta be the only thing that kept this from a 10 because look at this, look at this card. That's beautiful. That's awesome. All right. I mean, I'm gonna run out of background room. I am very happy right now. This is, this is already fun. So two nines, that's, that's awesome. Okay, an old Dan Dierdorf, uh, 74 tops, I guessed an eight. So it only had a declared value of 10 bucks, but an old Dierdorf card, let's see what I got, seven. Okay, but that's still cool for, I mean, a card that's, what is that, 48 years old? Holy cow. Um, yeah, you know what, it's, it's got a tilt cut to it and the centering. Yeah, I can see seven. Look at that. That centering right to left is pretty bad. So it's pretty much a centering that a lot of these were so sharp. Just, you know, centering was the only issue on a lot of them. And they're, they're just so beautiful. I wanted them slabbed. So, um, so this I missed just by one, but that's, you know, that's not a horrible miss. So a 74 deer, deer dwarf in a, uh, in a seven. I, I'm not complaining, it's still near mint. 83 tops Peyton. Uh, again, I have a, a lot of these and I went through, picked what I thought was the best one. I guessed an eight and a half. So again, here's all my, I'm not making these up. I wrote everything down. Um, guessed an eight and a half with a hope of a nine. Nine, <laughs> cool. I mean, they're not 10s, but to get cards that are 40 years old, 39, 40 years old in nines is, you can't complain. Awesome. So Peyton gets a nine. This is, this is going well. All right. Um, what do we got? So we're at our Jim Bunning. Jim Bunning, that's a 69 Bunning. Jim, 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 Jim. Where are you, Jim? I just want to see what the heck I guessed on it. <clears throat> uh, I guessed a seven with a hope of an eight. Wow, okay. So I'm glad none of these got kicked back. Is um, I've had bad luck with 69s being marked as min size. So I'm actually really glad that the vintage, vintage, none of them, yeah, nothing older than a 71 got kicked back. So, all right, um, guess of a seven, hope of an eight, six. Okay, you know what, now looking at it again, that's that's probably the centering. I mean, 
maybe I was dreaming, thinking seven or an eight, but because that's 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 pretty bad centering two directions there. So, you know, a six on this, that's, again, look at the corners. Look at just how crazy sharp this is. So that's why I sent it. It just, again, the only issue is centering. So beautiful. You know, 53-year-old card um, in a six. That's a thing of beauty. So, yeah, you could see it. Centering took it to a six. That's that's pretty much obvious there. It looks even more obvious now it's in the holder. So, guess of a seven, I got a six. We're not going to be upset with that at all. Okay, so now um, here's some for my 56 set. And I'm, you know, in little bits, getting more of them, more of them graded just to, um, you know, try to get that set completed. This one is the Rush. Um... Rush Grayback, so 56 Rush Grayback, I guess to six, hope of a seven. Seven, holy crap. <laughs> yes, sorry, <laughs> it's off screen there. Um, look at that, a 1956 tops and a seven, yes. What did I guess again? Guess of a six, hope of a seven, I got a seven. I mean, it's just a common, but this is a old, 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 old card. So this one, I thought, so look at the centering on this. That conceivably, it could have been six centering, but it got a got a seven. Must have just been, you know, borderline there. Man, that's awesome. Okay, let's look at another 56. Hail. Um, hail, I guess, to six. Card 231. Got a six. Nice. Okay. I'm not too far off on any of these. Yes. <laughs> a six. <clears throat> for Bob Hale. Just another common, but more stuff graded for my 56 set. Okay. Uh, Shoonmaker. Shoonmaker. I guess a five. Hope of a Six. Six. Boom. Guess of a five, hope of a six. I got my hope. My hope is, um, I put a hope, like, because sometimes you guess and you're, like, like, really hoping it gets that. But you're like, no, that's not realistic. So the five, my guess, is what I realistically thought. Six is what I thought. Oh, man, if I get lucky, it has an outside chance at a six. Man, I have had good luck with the 56s I have submitted. I mean, that could have been a five. You know, that's that's a pretty, you know, decent wear on that lower right corner. And, uh, yeah, even on the back, it shows pretty good wear on that. The centering is pretty high up. So I feel lucky with a six on that one. That's awesome. All right. Cool. Uh, another 56 here. Uh, Bob Nelson, right? Yeah. Uh, guess of a 5.5, hope of a 6. 7. Ooh. Boom. That's a boom when it goes above the hope. Gee. Wow. So a guess of uh, 5.5, I got a 7. Man. Like I said, I have gotten so lucky with these. I'm just trying to get the whole set in 3 or better, but a bunch of my commons I've submitted have gotten sixes, sevens, and eights. Wow. Well, I'm, I'm glad I was a little harder on, uh, on these guesses than I was my last order, or I was a little optimistic and got hit hard on some. All right, Fitzgerald, uh, guess of a six, nothing in the hope column, just thought it'd get us, ooh, there's a miss. <laughs> so that's usually a, you know, a surface wrinkle or something that I just missed because to me, just quick glance, you know, I looked at these closely too at different angles under light and everything, but even quick glance, I mean, that looks like a six, but you know what, a four, it's still, you know, above the minimum of what I'm trying to do for the set. So I guessed a six on this and it got a four. So that means there's, you know, there's something. 
maybe a stain or some sort of, you know, now I'm seeing right to the right of the umpire's, uh, back of the umpire's head, there's a line in there. And, you know, that could be just the tiniest little crease right there, dead center in the card. And I must have missed it. <clears throat> I'm really sorry for my voice. I got water here standing by. Um, so a four, you know, not a disaster. Uh, Sircont. I guessed a six. Six. Beautiful. So I'm sorry if this is the boring part of the reveal, all the 56 commons, but we're almost through those. And then we'll be back to, you know, stars and Hall of Famers. But these are these are exciting for me, like I said, because I'm really trying to I'm really trying to get this set together someday. This and my 71 set, trying to do both of those. Uh, Santiago. I just wrote down last names on a lot of these. Um, guess of a five, hope of a 5.5. .5. It's a three, okay? Still, it's, you know, that's at my minimum. So, um, obviously, if I was guessing a five, I knew it wasn't, you know, perfect. I saw something. So, um, that line right there is just part of the uh, grandstands. So, that's that's not it. You know, I'll spend more time later trying to find out the flaw. But uh, a three on this when the guess was a five, you know, that's, that's not... It's not horrible. It's, you know, it still goes right into my set. Uh, Shane Dinst. Did I pronounce that? I've never been able to pronounce this. Um, I guessed a six. Hope of a five. Uh, hope of a 6.5. Got a five. It's all right. <clears throat> so again, I guessed a six. It got a five. But that's still, you know, I'm okay with that. So, you know, they... They're seeing things that I saw wrong one way or another, but still. All right, uh, I think we're almost done with our, yep, this might be the last 56. Burdett. Big Enos Burdett. What movie is that from? That's from uh, Big Enos and Little Enos. That's from Smokey and the Bandit. All right, Burdett. Uh, this is not Enos Burdett, though. Uh, I guess the seven. Eight. <laughs> Eight on a 56 tops and eight again I didn't have anything in the hope column you know or my unrealistic guess column but my flat guess was just a seven <clears throat> and I got an eight Pam that's just beautiful is an understatement Okay, now, um, high hopes on this next card. I thought it was gorgeous. This was a, <coughs> I am really sorry. <clears throat> See if I make it through this whole video, huh? Um, strikeout leaders, 1980 tops. Ryan and I believe Richard is on this one. Yeah, I guessed an 8.5. Um, this was either a vending box or pack pool. Seven, okay. Um, missed by one and a half on it. I mean, I thought it was stunning, gorgeous, centered. Um, you know, now looking at it in the holder, it's a little tilty cut, a little that way. So you can see the border gets bigger this way. So, you know, a seven still a beautiful card. So that's, oh, 80 tops, George Brett. Guess of an 8.5, hope of a nine. Nice. I knew it wasn't a 10. I don't know if it was centering a little high, but eight and a half was my realistic guess. And then of course the hope is just, you know, okay, if I'm dreaming, if I'm hoping it's gonna get a nine. Man, could you imagine if I pulled a pack pulled a Ricky Henderson, sent it away, got a nine? That's neat. Really happy with that.
Okay, here's the other, uh, no, this is the tops cheater. All right, we'll do the other uh, upper deck. So I don't know which of the two um, this is. Oh, I could probably look at the serial number to see which order I sent them in. So the, f do, 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 that's serial number 490. Oh, we'll see. So I either guessed a eight or a seven and a half on this one. We'll tell it's serial number eight. So that's that's awesome. Uh, this is serial number 97. That was serial number uh, 90. So maybe this is the second one in the order. So yeah, so um, an eight on a upper deck. 93 upper deck cheater rookie. An eight. So like I said, I think that that was, uh, either way, this was pretty much dead on on my guess. One of them was a guess of a seven and a half. The other guess of an eight with a hope of an 8.5. So, um, beautiful, huh? Beautiful. All right. Oh, the bow breaker. This is, I know this is another one that I was guessing a 10. This was a pack pull out of a darn <coughs> 91 score <coughs> uh, box that I went through. 91 score bow breaker. Here it is. I just, boom, just 10. Nothing in the hope column. Just boom, straight. I thought it's getting a 10. Come on, bow breaker, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, two. Huh. Okay, you could tell how sure I was this was gonna get a 10 by how excited I was. Yeah, that is a six, everybody. Um, so there's no way me staring at this right now while we're going through this reveal is going to, I, even later, I'm not going to find why this got a six. So um, that's, that's, that might be the, the big bummer of that. So that's another one that I thought was going to be a, a 10. So we're 0 for 2 on my 10s or hope or guesses of 10s. Okay, the 87, this is a cool card. Uh, Bo Jackson, uh, 87. Jackson, Toys R Us, I guess a nine. So kind of an oddball rookie, you know. I mean, of course, he had an 86 traded, but, you know, his first regular, I, what I guess, a nine? I got an eight. Okay. Still, look at that. That's that's tough with the black borders, just like the bow breaker. That's why those tens in that bow breaker, even though it's just 91, up, uh, 91 score, they're worth a lot. So, but that's still a cool looking card. Look at that. To get an eight. I'm, you know, so 87 Toys R Us, Bo Jackson in an eight. It's kind of a neat card. All right, my 89 tops traded Griffey, guessing a nine. Nine, that's awesome, cool. For whatever reason, I knew it wasn't a 10. I mean, even a 10, it's not a high value card, but still look at that, it's cool. You know, of course, there's gazillions of these that they made in, you know, 89 traded sets, but that's beautiful. 89 tops traded, very sharp. I predicted a nine, guessed a nine, whatever you want to say. It got a nine, so that's, that's, I'm good with that. All right, here we go. 86 Fleer traded Barry Bonds. I guessed an eight, hope of an 8.5. Really neat looking card. I love this, um, this Bonds card. So again, guess of an eight, hope of an 8.59. Yes, 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 yes. Boom, boom. Look at the centering. I mean, I thought the centering would keep it from a nine. I mean, otherwise it is, this is just, it's insanely sharp. The centering is just, it's high and it's actually a little right, but I'm ecstatic with a nine. Cause like I said, a guess of an eight, Hope of an 8.5, figuring that's the best to get. Best, best. Gets a nine. Wow. Okay, cool. All right, 87 tops. Bonds. Guess of an 8.5, hope of a nine. Nine. Yes. Wow, did good on these Bonds cards, huh? I mean, they're not tens, but still nines. Come on, that's 
and this was one of my better, I have a bunch of 87 tops bonds and this was one of my better ones. And so I'm glad I, you know, I picked well. It's picked a good one to send. Nice, cool. Getting good grades on some of these iconic, you know, Griffey got, you know, nine bonds, nine, nine. The Bo Jackson Toys R Us eight. All right, here's the other, uh, here's the tops, Jeter. Um, Guest a nine, hope of a 10. So, okay, here's the third out of the four that, you know, might have had a shot at a 10. So 93 tops, Jeter, shut up and flip it is what you're saying. Okay, nine, okay. That was my guess. The hope, the 10 was the hope. So, you know, Jeter rookie and a nine, can't go wrong with that. Even though, again, with these, there's a gazillion of these 93 tops Jeters, but, you know, Hall of Fame rookie and a nine. So, so I got one more shot somewhere. I think it's the, it's a Fleer somewhere in this order that I was guessing or hoping a 10. Maybe there's a fifth one that I was thinking. I don't know. All right. All right. Uh, Nolan Ryan. Donruss. Uh, where are you? Where did you go, Joe DiMaggio? Uh, it's an 83 Donruss Ryan. Um, guess of an 8.5. I have a note saying there's a nick on the edge. So see how that affects it. Uh, hope of a 9. 8. Okay, so that's got to be uh, a nick on the edge that I picked up somewhere. I don't know. I didn't say what edge, but um, that's probably what, you know. But still, cool card. So 83 Donruss, Ryan gets an eight when my guess was eight and a half. Um, you know, that's not not a disaster. Uh, oh, I do have another 56. Uh, Nukem, oh, that's awesome. A Don Nukem. Guess of a 5.5, hope of a six. This is one of the uh, more higher value of the 56s that I sent in this order. It is actually because uh, my declared value is 50 bucks on this thing. So again, guess of a 5.5, hope of a six. Oh my God. Seven, so we're looking probably, you know, close to a three figure card there. 80, 90, 100 bucks maybe in a seven, but you know, it's, I'm not selling it. That's just, it's for my set, but that's still pretty doggone. So my hope was a six and it went above my hope. I love when that happens. Man, I get lucky on these 56s. Wow. Golly. Wow. All right. Okay, this is one of my favorite all-time George Bretts from one of my favorite all-time sets. 82 Fleer. Okay. Uh, 10. This was, this was the last one that I thought had a chance at a 10. Oh, and then the 81. So there's five of them that I thought would have a chance at a 10. Okay. So we're 0 for 3. George Brett. 82 Fleer. George Brett. Okay. Hopefully you do better than when I did this with the bow. Boom. Guess of a 10. Not, not, not in the hope column. Just a straight guess of a 10. 82 Fleer. George Brett. Come on. Give me a 10. Give me. Got it. Got it. I mean, it's not an earth shattering value, but that is so cool. I got a 10 in my order. I got a 10. I got a 10. You know, a lot of people get tons of 10s, but that's because they're sending in, you know, 2021 tops chrome. But, oh, I can't get enough of seeing that. I have gotten very few 10s in cards that I've submitted in my life. And, to get another one is just, I'm, I'm very excited. <laughs> this is, oh, I've been so looking forward to getting these cards back. Like I said, there's nothing earth shattering in here. No four figure cards, but these are just cool cards. 82 Fleer was the first set, first packs I ever bought as a kid. And, you know, I think this came from a vending box I opened a few years ago. I'm just staring at it. I know this is going to be a long video, but I got a 10. Oh, 
I got a 10. I'm so happy. <laughs> yes. Yes. George. 10. I mean, <laughs> I'm even more happy than what I sound. Okay, 82, 82 tops. Uh, Lee Smith, rookie. I <laughs> guessed a, uh, if print defect doesn't affect it. A lot. <laughs> That's my note. <laughs> See, I have weird notes. So, if the print defect doesn't affect the grade, I guess that's what I'm, so. Um, uh, Lee Smith, rookie, guess of an 8, a hope of an 8.5. Apparently, there's a print defect I saw in here. 8, okay. So, 8.5 if the print defect didn't affect it, but an 8 was just my guess. And that, you know, another Hall of Fame rookie. And an 8. Okay with that. All right, here's the other one where I have a note, something about a print defect affecting it or not affecting it. The 81 Valenzuela, same thing. Guess of an 8, hope of an 8.5, a 9. Oh, my gosh. Um, and those of you out there, you know there is no 10 in existence of this card. How did this go above my, my hope? Oh, my gosh. Now this this is a valuable card in a nine because, like I said, there there are no tens in existence. Wow. This no that this, this is like this, this is bigger than some of you might know because. You, you there there are no tens on this like the seventy six tops Brett. There's no tens. If you get a nine. I mean, of course, it's not comparable to getting a nine and a seventy-six tops Brett. That's like a four thousand dollar card, but this is this is significant. I'm I I'll have to look up the value, but this is probably I'm guessing at least a couple hundred dollars in a nine. Wow, this is an amazing order. Even with the rejects in the beginning, like I said, the rejects are um, they're doable. I got you know I'm okay with those. Look at this, a nine. I'm I'm blown away by this one. So guess of an eight, hope of an 8.5. It got a nine. Oh my gosh. Wow, 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 wow. This, whoa, that's, sorry, that's going in front of Jeter and, and Bo. That is crazy cool. Okay, this is the fifth and last one I thought would have a shot at a nine, at 10. 81 Fleer, Nolan Ryan. Um, guess of a nine, hope of a 10, eight. Ooh, okay. Well, I'm glad I got a 10 on the Brett. Wow, and I just got this out of a vending box I opened this year. This this was crazy sharp. And it is centered. I mean, yeah, it has fat border here, but it has fat border up there too. So, um, Nate, a little disappointing, but that's okay. It's still a beautiful card. Um, yeah, I don't. I mean, I thought this was an easy nine with a shot at a 10. So um, there's something. You just never know. But this was this was a vending box pull. So that's a uh, little bummer. That's right. Okay. Oh, iconic, cool Pete Rose card. Um, these are tough. 81 tops is tough. That's why I'm crazy shocked at that, Fernando. Um, so guess of an eight, hope of an 8.5, an eight. Okay. But still, these are this this is a hard card to find centered. And this was one of my only I mean, I have a bunch of these, and this was one of the only ones that was even remotely centered. <laughs> so um yeah, guess of an eight. No, oh, yeah, so I hit my guess. Hope of an eight point five. No, yeah. Eighty one rows. Yes, that's an eighty one rows. Come on, wake up. Um so yeah, so pretty much dead on what I what I guessed. Cool. Beautiful card. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoa, man. All right. Oh, this is the little uh, symbol on my channel, my little circle icon on my channel. My um, I have one of these that I bought years ago. It's up on my display wall over there. Um, it's an eight, uh, the one over there. This one, I was guessing an 8.5. Um, nothing in the hope column, just flat out guess. 
have an 8.5 on the 79 rows, seven, okay. I uh, don't see, I mean, I mean, this one's tough because, you know, the borders are pretty tight on this. So any offness kind of looks exaggerated. It is kind of tilt cut and it is off to the left a little bit. So, but still beautiful card in the seven. Beautiful, beautiful. Can't believe what I get a nine on that Bonds Fleer update. This is, this is a, I'm having fun. This is a blast. All right, what is this one? Uh, strikeout leaders, 79 top strike, guess to nine, wow. So high hopes on this that this 79, just like the, the 80. Eight, okay, still a beautiful card. Uh, yeah, 79 strikeout, strikeout leaders, just a straight guess of a nine. Um, I really didn't see how it could get different than a nine, so we got an eight. Boy, no half grades, it would have been nice, maybe an eight and a half, it is beautifully centered. I mean, you can see holding right there. There are no centering issues on this. So, um, you know, unless the surface or who knows what, there's no fish eyes, no little print dots, sharp card. It's, this was a, uh, you know, either a pack or box pull. And most of my stuff is stuff I pulled myself. So that's okay on that one. Okay, here's the, <laughs> why did I get this graded? Because <laughs> I didn't even guess a 10 on this. I guessed a nine, but I just wanted to see if I could, you know, if if I'm really seeing that it's as nice as I thought. So 79 Gary Templeton, <laughs> third year Gary Templeton. <laughs> I guessed a nine, a nine. <laughs> It's funny because it's like a $3 card, but it's still, I just, you know, this was a vending box pull and I've had it sitting around forever and I had a little sticky note, you know, guessing it was a nine. So look at that. I guessed it right. I guessed it right. It's a nine. So yeah, that's all I had. No, nothing hope to call them. Just a straight flat guess of a nine. It gets a nine. That's awesome. Come on, you got to admit that's awesome. <laughs> that's funny. All right, we're putting that way over there because it's nothing. Um, Why did I send this? That's a wax stand on the back, man. <coughs> Sorry, I'm going to get more water here. Um, oh, yeah, well, look at that. I obviously knew it when I sent it in because 78 Schmidt. Um, nothing in the hope column here for it, but uh, guess of a six because of wax stain. Okay. Let's see how hard the wax stain hit it, because it was nice otherwise. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's an eight. It's a six with the top part filled in. That's an eight. Man. So, if I remember, I don't know. I think PSA standards are like, if the wax stain is on the back, it doesn't hurt it. It hurts it, but not much. But, man, I did not think I'd get an eight on this. I mean... I didn't even have a hope of a seven. Oh, I'm not complaining, believe me. Eight. So again, I had a guess of a six because of this uh, pretty significant wax or gum stain there. But man, it this is one of the most, this is the most beautiful looking on the front 78 Schmitz I have. So I wanted to send it in, get it slabbed. That is, that is stinking cool. I mean, a little soft corner down there. Man, look at that. An eight. Wow. Nobody's going in front of my 10, so that's a, we'll put we'll put Mr. Schmitty right there. Cool. Okay, last big stack here, 78 Stargell. I hope you guys are having fun too. This is, I am having like the time of my life with these. Um, Eight and a half guess, hope of a nine on this 78 Stargell. Eight, okay. It's all right. I think it's a lot nicer than that Schmidt, but <coughs> um, I, uh, yeah, I don't see why it's an eight, but it's still a beautiful card. 44 year old card, right? Yep. Willie Stargell. Rest in peace, Willie. Eight. 
78 tops. Cool. That's still neat, though. All right. Um, there are some uh, 60s and early 70s coming up, too, guys. So I didn't purposely save those to the end. It's just where it was in the stack. Uh, <laughs> this is another one. This is like the Templeton. <laughs> it's a Greg Nettles. <laughs> 78 tops, Greg Nettles. I guessed an eight. Why in the world did I send this in? I don't Well, I mean, he was a big star with the Yankees, you know. Nine. Oh, you know what? I think I did have a sticky note on this. Guessing it would be a nine like that Templeton. But then I looked at it more closely right before I submitted it. I'm like, mm, I think the centering or something was worse than maybe what I initially thought. I'm like, okay, I'm going to send it in anyways. But I'm going to put eight as my guess. Nothing in the hope column. So this blows away my guess. A nine. Okay. You know what? I mean, gosh darn, getting a, a 1978 card. Uh, you know, a semi-star and a nine. That's that's awesome. Look at that. It's beautiful, isn't it, though? Man, a nine. That's awesome, actually. I'm excited about that. That's cool. All right, now we're getting to some really good stuff here. Um, 76 months and guess of a seven, hope of a 7.5. Yep, that's another, uh, that's another eight. Yeah, just stunned silence. Um, yeah, so guess of a seven, hope of 7.5. It goes even above my highest hope. Gets an eight on the 76 months. And look at that. Wow. This is crazy. This is fun. Okay. Uh, ooh, this one. See, now this is what's going to be funny is I think this was even nicer than the than the Munson. Watch it get less. Watch it get a 7. But 76 yount, guess of an 8.5, hope of a 9 for a second year yount. An 8. Okay. See, that's – see, I thought this was crazy sharper than the uh, – than the Munson, but you know what? Another 76 and an eight, You nobody can complain about that. So again, I guessed eight and a half with a hope of a nine, um, but it gets an eight, but that's okay. I think I paid 20 bucks for this raw. Second year of an amazing Hall of Famer. There's something on his face. I don't remember that when I sent it in, but you know, I don't know, maybe somebody at PSA spilled their lunch on them or something. No, come on. I'm not going to say anything bad about PSA. So um, that's all I submit to, obviously. It's just I'm, I'm one of the PSA addicts, I guess. So 76 Lynn, you know, just a semi-star. But, again, I thought this was sharp. I love the look of this card. Uh, guess of a seven. I'm running eights pretty good on these 76s. Look at it. It's just so cool with the Topps Rookie Cup. A second year Lynn in an eight. Wow. So again, I guessed a seven. It got an eight. It's just beautiful. That's why I sent that one in. So many cards I just, I send in because it just, they look beautiful. Cards are beautiful to me. I mean, look at my channel name. I just love these damn things. Uh, 76 rows, guest a six. Iconic rose card. Well, a lot of rose cards are iconic. Five. Okay. So this was obviously a little, in my opinion, a little rougher than the others. I don't, I didn't think it deserved a five, obviously, but I didn't have anything higher than a six, like in the hope column. So, uh, you know, I saw stuff in it that was rough, but still, I love the all-star little star on these 76s for the all-stars. So a five, you know, not complaining. Still killer, 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 killer. All right, um, Steve Carlton, 76 Carlton. Guess of a six, hope of a seven. If lower print defect and snow, not a factor, okay? Lower, okay, I guess there's print defect and snow. Uh, six, okay, so... Print defect and snow. So I don't know. There was a print defect I saw somewhere and some snow in the background. But six for 76 Carlton. A little nick down there. Maybe that was the print defect I was saying. But beautiful. 
Carlton gets a six. Oh, here's a... Oh, come on, guys. You can't hold these in the holder a little better. All right, here's my two Jim Palmers that are floating around in their holders. That's disappointing. Come on, PSA. They did this last time with some cards that were... Oh, well, here, I flipped it around. A four. Oh, that's, that's brutal. So one of them had a fisheye left of his face that I thought would get a 6.5. This is not the fisheye, and it got a four. Well, this is one of my favorite. Sorry, um, I was looking at it around the camera. So four, and then the other one, a six. Okay. Which one had the fisheye left? It. This one had the fisheye. So this is the one I thought would be the worst of the two. So, no, I don't know. So anyways, I was guessing a six and a half on this and a five and a half on this. So guess of a six and a half, hope of a seven, guess of a five and a half with a hope of a six. So this got a four, I missed big on that. This I just missed by a half grade, but this is just, this is one of my favorite Jim Palmer cards of all time. That's why I sent away two of them. And sorry, as I take a little, I'll, you know, I'll fix them later. But I've seen other people have this issue of, you know, PSA just not, for whatever reason, you know, not really I know, fixed it a little bit. That looks better. See, but that's still, look at how sharp that one is, though. So a little disappointed in a six, even though my guess was only a six and a half. But um, but yeah, that is the little, there's a little surface fisheye, but yeah, I don't see why that got a four, but still, this is just not only one of my favorite Jim Palmer cards, but I don't know, I must've gotten one of these, not one of these, but a version of this 75 Palmer mini. I think it was the first mini I ever got as a kid. And it's just, it's iconic that image emblazoned in my mind. I that's why I love this card. It's just, you know, when you have things that you just can never forget. All right. A, this was a beautiful McCovey mini. Whoa. I was guessing an eight on this one. Again, got the floating freaking card in here. Oh, well. Uh, guess of an eight. My guess was an eight. I bought this off eBay for, I'm going to say like $12. It just, you know, and it's hard to tell just from a picture on eBay, but it looked crazy good condition. And to get a nine, I don't think I have any 75s, mini or regular size in a nine. This is just unbelievable. This more than makes up with any disappointment in those Palmers. Look at this. Holy crud. A 75 Mini McCovey in a 9. Oh, man. Yeah, I didn't even have a hope column of anything. I mean, I thought 8 was about as good as this was going to get. Oh, that is beautiful. Man. We're running out of spots for the most beautiful of the beautiful. Okay, here we go. Uh, just kind of a common semi-star. 65 Mini Moda. I'm looking for it. Where are you? Moda Moda. Surface scratch under name, okay? But I was guessing an eight, wow. That's optimistic for a 65. Six, okay? So maybe the surface scratch under the name took it down, but I mean, you can see that's just a, I mean, the corners, everything were just stunning. So um, that's why I was guessing an eight, but still, it's just brilliant color, beautiful card, a six on uh, Mr. Moda, that's okay. Uh, 72 Bly 11. Uh, guess of a six, hope of a 6.5. Second year Bly 11, seven. Another one that went above my hope again. Guess of a six, hope of a 6.5. I got a seven on a second year Bly 11. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Wow. All right, 72 Chambliss, <laughs> not a major cut, but I just, I've had this a long time. I've always looked at it, thought it was just gorgeous. So this one, I'm guessing seven and a half with a hope of an eight. 
I think it's a rookie cup one too, which looks really cool. An eight. Oh my gosh, I got my hope column. Yeah, I've had this set aside for a long time, wanting to get it graded. Just, just it looked, it looked that good. So my guesses are so much better than my last reveal, where I was crazy way off on, on some. But that's just I'm so happy with that. I mean, again, not a significant player or anything, but still to get, you know, a 50-year-old card and an eight. All right. Jim Bunning, 60, what is this, a 70? Yeah, this is a 70. Jim Bunning, where are you? Guess this again. High hopes, just like with this one. Same thing as this one. Guess of a seven and a half. Hope of an eight. Six. Okay, I missed on this one. But still, I mean... There you go, Hall of Famer and a six. That's, I don't have a lot of 1970 cards graded, so it is pretty off center. So maybe I thought centering on it was good enough for a seven and a half or eight, but it gets a six. But you know what? It's still beautiful, right? All right. Uh, okay, here's a 71 that I actually got graded that I need graded for my set. Just a common, less cane. Uh, guess of a 5.5, .5, hope of a six four so this is not going in my set that's a bummer because i'm trying to get it in five or higher i mean it just there's something there then because like i said five and a half to a six was my guess and my hope and it gets a four so big miss on this so man the 71s pretty much are all a bust for the 56s are great for my set but i have added nothing then thank goodness i bought like a show um, was the last video bought these off eBay in sixes because um, no luck on my uh, the three seventy ones I submitted. Okay, a now I pulled this out of a Christmas rack a few months ago, and uh, I wanted you know I thought this was super sharp. So nineteen sixty early win card number one in the set. So. It's nice to get those, you know, in good grade. Guess of a five, hope of a six. Four. Huh. That's surprising. I mean, it looks beautiful. I mean, that's one of the, like I've said before, with it, you know, when I got that 69 Ryan in a four. It's one of the nicer fours you're going to see. Little bummer. That's okay. It's been an amazing, I'm very happy with this so okay so 1960 banks guess of a two hope of a three oof this is the one of the nicer looking ones you're gonna see <laughs> oh well i mean i guess the two it gets a one, so I mean, it's only one off from my guess, but yeah, it's just hard to stomach one sometimes, or I mean, not stomach them, but just like, you're like, man, you just, you know, it's kind of bottom of the barrel on grading scale there. Oh, still a beautiful card. Okay, so these uh, 1961 tops, home run leaders, guess of a six, hope of a seven. I've done pretty good with these leader cards recently, so six. What did I say it did? Guess of a six, hope of a seven. So yeah, that, <laughs> beautiful. Look at that. Boom. Three Hall of Famers on there. Banks, Matthews, Aaron, 1961 tops, a 61-year-old card in a six. Nice. Okay, so I nailed my guess on that one. So that, that makes up for the banks and the win. All right, uh, Hank Sauer. This is one I bought. This one guy on eBay has, you know, a lot of 61s that he's been selling. I've bought quite a few and did awesome with the grades on the ones I bought from. I Maybe I didn't look at the back real good. That is a horribly centered back. It might affect this. Um, I would I would have guessed differently if I remembered seeing that, but. I guess the seven on this 61 sour. Well, I guess like with a back stain, well, there is a little sliver of border on there, isn't there? 
um, it didn't affect it really. Seven, look at that. I think I paid like eight bucks for this. So this this guy, I keep going back and buying cards from him because he just, his cards are amazing looking. Seven, I mean, you know, not a significant star, but still beautiful. Nailed that guess. And nothing in the hope column, just a straight guess of a seven on the sour, and I got a seven. Awesome. Okay, Jim Cott, second year card. Uh, guess of a 7.5. Wow. Seven. Hey, that's, um, I think I got this from the same seller too. Um, pretty faded. And uh, it's off center to the right. But um, like I said, just half off of my guess. Seven and a half was the guess. It gets seven for a second year Hall of Famer. That's beautiful. Nice. So two sevens on those 61s. Okay, this Haddix, also same seller. Um, probably paid 10 bucks for this. Guessing an eight, seven, okay? It's all right, but still. I mean, not again, not a significant card, but still it's, you know, I got it graded because it's a 61-year-old card that I thought would get a high grade and it did. Near Mint 7 is amazing for a 1961 Tops. So just one off on that one. Guess of an eight, got a seven. Um, Ron Santo, 66 Santo, I guessed a five. So this could be rough. If I guessed a five, it's, you know, it's it's rough. Four and a half. Hey, <laughs> yay, I got a half grade. <laughs> so I'm just a half off on this one. So still beautiful 66 Santo. Like I said, I guessed a five, got a four and a half. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's obviously something wrong with the card, but nothing wrong with my guess. I'm not unhappy with my guess. Okay, uh, Roger Maris, 67 Maris, guess to five again. So, you know, kind of mid-grade, could go below that five, but we'll see four, okay? So, yeah, definitely, I knew these were rougher if I'm guessing fives on them, but um, I guess I just wasn't hard enough on it. It is a beautiful-looking Maris, though. I mean, you got to admit that. But so guess of a five, I got a four. But again, nothing, you know, nothing wrong with that guess. Nothing wrong with getting a four on this. Uh, 67 banks, guess of a five, hope of a 5.5, five, four. Okay. So I'm not, um, I'm not guessing real well on these. But still, look at that. Beautiful. 55-year-old card in a four. 67 banks and a four. That's awesome still though, right? I mean, that's not complaining about that. Uh, John Roseboro, um, not a big star, but I liked the condition of this card. So I sent it 67, John Roseboro, guessing a 7.5, seven. But look at that, that's beautiful. Just a half off, not complaining. Beautiful looking card. Just color and corners are amazing on this one. So get a seven on this one. That's cool. I'm okay with that. 67 Cepeda. Guess of a 5.5. Five. Okay. Well, hey, look at that. One of my five-ish guesses did get a five. So that's awesome. All right. Last card. 68, yes, uh, must be an all-star because of the, the puzzle face on the back. Guess of a six, hope of a seven, four. Well, not a good way to end, but an amazing, awesome reveal. So again, I guessed a six, but got a four. So I missed something. Sometimes I guess on these, it just, if there is a surface crease somewhere with the, um, hetchy background of the 68 what do they call it burlap sack background it's might be hard to pick up something that i missed but still it's a yaz it's a 54 year old yaz in a four so we'll pull back here a little bit this was awesome thank you guys for sharing uh, i'm gonna end this video soon just because it's long i hope it uploads 
Um, there was the bummers from the beginning that got rejected, but just a, an amazing, fun submission and crazy excited about some of these. I'm not going to run through them right now, but, you know, maybe another time we'll review looking through these. But there, there are some that just blew me away in a good way. Very excited. I love all these cards, and thank you for sharing in this reveal with me. You guys have a good night. My throat made it. My throat made it. <laughs>